Update, am I wrong for letting my daughters choose who they do and don't hug? I never expected the kind of response I got after standing up for my girls. If anything, I was ready for more awkward family moments and disapproving looks. But something surprising happened. After our last family gathering, where Hannah and Sophie chose not to hug the uncle in question, I received a message from my cousin Sarah, who's 34. I wasn't sure what to expect, maybe more criticism or advice on keeping the peace, but instead, she thanked me. Sarah told me that watching me support my daughters had been a huge eye-opener for her. She said, I've always felt uncomfortable around that uncle too. His lingering touches and overly long hugs always gave me the creeps, even when I was little. I never felt like I could say anything because no one else seemed to think it was a big deal. She confessed that it made her feel trapped in those moments, like her discomfort didn't matter. Seeing me stand up for Hannah and Sophie's right to say no gave her the courage to start doing the same for her own kids. I've already told my daughter that she doesn't have to hug anyone if she doesn't want to, Sarah said. I wish someone had stood up for me when I was younger to remind me that my feelings were just as important as his need to hug people who didn't want hugs. Hearing this from Sarah brought a lot of clarity and made me even more sure I'm doing the right thing. It's not just about the hugs, it's about teaching our girls that their boundaries matter, even if others don't understand. Sometimes, standing up for something small can have a ripple effect you never see coming. I told Sarah I was proud of her for making that change and that we need to look out for each other in these situations. I feel so much more confident knowing that I'm not the only one who has felt this way and I'm glad I can show my daughters that they don't owe anyone their physical comfort. So to answer the question, no, I'm not wrong. If anything, I'm even more sure that I'm doing the right thing and I'll keep backing my girls up, no matter how awkward it gets at family parties.